Non-native ticks along the peninsula have got researchers on the lookout along with Lyme disease. The Lone Star Tick is what they call it. Can also carry an illness that can lead to food allergies. Yeah, ABC 7 News South Bay reporter Dustin Dorsey was there as a team swept a popular trail and has more now on what you can do to keep yourself safe on hikes in the area. Let's take a walk through beautiful Portola Valley on a hunt for ticks. But actually, it wasn't that hard of a search to find them. How much work did this just take? This was really fast. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe five minutes. It was really fast. So they're out there. It's really ticky right now, especially in this area. Here along the trails of Windy Hill Open Space Preserve. Every year, San Mateo County Vector Control sweeps these areas to collect and study ticks. And to their surprise, they recently discovered the emergence of non-native Lone Star ticks. Lone Star ticks carry different pathogens than what we have here. And they also carry alpha-gal syndrome, or they also cause alpha-gal syndrome. So that is a big concern. We don't have that here. Um, but you never know what's going to happen when you put a new vector in an area where you have certain pathogens that exist. So these researchers from UC Davis and the Bay Area Lyme Foundation comb through the grass on the lookout for the ticks that can cause people to develop an allergy to foods containing alpha-gal, like red meat, using a technique called flagging. The flag mimics an animal brushing against them. So when you take the flag and sweep it over, they grab it thinking that they're grabbing, you know, a, a potential meal, and then you flip it over, and then you're able to see them very easily on the white fabric. You can see it right here. Oh, yeah. A lot of people think that you need to go deep into the woods to run into a tick, but we learned very quickly today that just off the trail's edge, the risk is just as high. Ticks are, carry a lot of different diseases, and so if they bite you and they latch on, they can transmit certain diseases. The most common is Lyme disease. Every one of vector control sweeps detects the potentially serious illness in this area. So besides staying in the middle of the trail, these tick experts say take a shower and put your clothes in the dryer after hikes to kill any ticks. So we uh, want to encourage everybody to get out and enjoy the outdoors. Uh, but we also want everybody to be cautious. And leave the search for ticks to the experts. That was the biggest that one we found, it. yeah. In Portola Valley, Dustin Dorsey, ABC 7 News.